Gravity gravitates? Hold on, don't scroll away. This video is deeper than you think. So we know that mass has gravity, right? And energy does too, this is Einstein's whole thing. But just like how electric fields have energy, so does the gravitational field. And that means that gravity causes more gravity, which is weird, right? Like, where does it stop? Well, that's a bit hard to explain, but it does eventually stop. The gravitational field doesn't have a lot of energy compared to its source, so it produces less gravity, which then produces even less gravity and so forth. But this is really weird. Let me explain. If you have two laser beams and shoot them at each other at an angle, they'll overlap at a single place and it'll be brighter there. But then they'll just continue on their merry way unfazed. This is because electromagnetism is a linear theory. This means that electromagnetic fields can just be added together and you just get another totally valid electromagnetic field. But gravity? No. If you take two gravitational wave pulses and shoot them at each other in just the right way, the gravity of the waves focus each other so much that they form a singularity. That having two actual gravitational fields interact leads to a different outcome from just superimposing them means that general relativity is a non-linear theory. And while this is fairly well known, it still tricks physicists to this day. We regularly forget about how wildly non-linear general relativity is. And this makes research in general relativity extremely hard and extremely satisfying.